This beauty is called the lightning bolt for obvious reasons. <laughs> it is a really fun uh, glider to fly. It's not too difficult to fold either. So we're going to start with uh, this page in the book. And as usual, we're going to cut out all of the white margin so that we get left with something that looks like that. And I'm using a paper cutter. You don't have to do that. You can use scissors. Not a big problem. Uh, so always want to start so that you can see the number one. And this plane is going to get folded with the long side on top to start with. So let's get going on the lightning bolt here. Again, we're going to use our, our uh, backside guides here, uh, flip side guide. Uh, this is the front side guide that will start you going over like this for step number one. And you can see this white line here is going to uh, pop up for you as you get just far enough over. You see that white line a little bit. And then you can also look at these, these lines here. You can see steps two and three lining up there as well, this, this here in this line here. So that's another way that you can do it to kind of make sure you're on the right track. And you just want to barely be able to see that, that white line from the other side and you know that you're on the right track there. There we go. Pretty close, pretty close. And I'm using my thumbnail to make a nice sharp crease. You could use, you know, anything like, you know, like a, a pen, you know, anything like that, old credit card, uh, anything like that works pretty well. All right, so we're ready to move on to step number two. We've just done step number one. So here's our rough guide here on the front side, and we're going to fold that over. And when we see that white line coming up, here it is. You can see that white line showing up on the back side. We're going to do that backside guide trick so that we get it right on the money there. And you can see we're just coming right up next to this crease here. That crease line right there, you can tell we're going to get to that one in a little bit. But there's our step number three, uh, I'm sorry, step number two. Now we're moving on to step number three. And we're going to roll that over using that rough guide. And then our flip side guide is going to help us get that in a perfect spot. And you can see we've left room for this this crease line here. So there we go. You can see that white line on both sides there, that flip side guide coming in handy here. Now we're going to do four and five. That's going to bring the top of the plane to a point here. So we're going to start with number four, roll it over. And once again, you can see that flip side guide coming into play right there. Get that guy going. Number five, we're going to roll it over using that line right there. Flip side guide coming into play right there. Just going to try to avoid a little bit of bubbling there. I got to see a little bubble there. All right. And now I've got six and seven. Those are coming up next. So here we go uh, with number six. Rolling that over. You can see that crease line right there all the way down to this corner. It starts right up here and goes all the way down to the corner. And we'll see that flip side guide come over. There it is right there. Flip side guide. Just a little bit of white right up there all the way down like that. Looking good. And then fold number seven. We're going to follow the rough guide here. Get this moving the correct direction. And we see that flip side guide come up. And there we go. All right. Fold number eight. We're going to go right straight across here. Uh, it's a little bit. It's the dark line there. You can you can make it out with the number eight there. You hardly make it out on this, the way this lighting is. There you go. You can see it right straight across here. Now, it doesn't perfectly line up here, so don't worry about that. But we're just going right straight across there where it says number eight. And the flip side guide will show you really clearly where that's going to go, just like that. All right. And it's time to flip over. <laughs> Most of the time, the first time you see that is the time you're going to flip it over. So that's kind of fun. So let's flip it over. And we're going to rotate it um, just so this, uh, this guy, number nine, is right side up here. Let's rotate it this way. we got the number nine right side up. And we're going to move this corner right on top of that corner. We're going to follow this rough crease right here. You can see that black line right there. We're going to follow that black line. And that'll just be folding it in half. You want to pay more attention to getting these corners lined up than you do to the white line down the center there way more important to get these corners lined up. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can do 11 before you do 10. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so uh, either way, you're going to make this wing here. And there you can see the flip side guide from the other side coming into play there. So I want to make sure I get this lined up. Oop, just make a little adjustment right there. There we go. You'll be able to see that all the way down. And 
I'm going to flip it over and make the other wing match. Again, looking for those flip side guides. I love those little guys. They really come in handy, especially if you've never done the plane before. It's really cool to see that, that flip side guide come into play for you. All right, so now standard paper airplane adjusting technique here. We're going to give it a little positive dihedral. Let's hang on to it right here where the thick part is. I'm going to lift the wings up until they touch and then let go. And I'll back off a little bit. I don't want too much positive dihedral in this guy, but I do want some. And you are going to need some up elevator on this plane. So it's, uh, you can see the white tabs here are where you do a little up elevator. So I'm just going to bend some in right there. And then if you need to adjust right left, your rudder control is right here. So if it's turning left, you want to steer against that by bending this guy to the right. You want to put a nice hard bend in there like that to get it to come back to the right. You see, I bent that guy to the right and I'm not flying it yet, so I'm just going to, I haven't tested it yet. So let's take a look at this guy in flight. You can see it, it, um, it goes across the room, um, you know, quite nicely. And you want to hold it right there, uh, close to that nose, close to the thick part, and just give it a nice level, easy toss. You can see it's just got a tiny bit of up elevator, flies really nicely across the room, landing on that bureau right there. <laughs> that is the lightning bolt. Uh, obviously, more planes uh, to come. The lightning bolt.